years ago, people didn't really think much about it, but I think people are increasingly realizing this place was where the modern world was formed. Uh, so many influential figures, Sigmund Freud, Ernst Mach, the physicist and philosopher, uh, great names in literature, Schnitzler and Hofmannsthal, in painting, we have Klimt and Kokoschka, in music, we have Mahler and Schoenberg. So it's an immensely rich culture. But it's also a culture that, on the one hand, was shaped by the kind of tumultuous political events in the late 19th century. Uh, after centuries of very old aristocratic monarchical rule, uh, in 1867, the Habsburg monarchy adopted a more liberal constitution and for a brief period the liberal middle class felt that they were in charge. But then things turned south, uh, there was a terrible stock market crash and uh, you know so the whole liberal culture kind of fell and we see all kinds of responses to this among the writers we see a turn to the kind of art as the escape from all this chaos, or in Schnitzler's plays, we see the erotic as another kind of escape. But all of these cultural trends are still very much, uh, you know, when we look at them today, we can't help but know that this empire that had lasted for many centuries was about to come to a crashing end at the end of World War I. And this led to really a total turn away from the liberal trends, and especially since the Jewish population in Vienna was very much part of the liberal trend, it led to a huge growth in anti-Semitism. And one thing I didn't mention before is a young man walking the streets of Vienna in the early 1900s by the name of Adolf Hitler was very much shaped by these political movements. So this is another thing that's very relevant today. So um, I really look forward to teaching this seminar. I think uh, it is very rich in so many ways, both in terms of uh, visual arts, architecture, music, literature, psychology, psychoanalysis. So there's so much richness to really explore, but also to really f reflect on the political aspects as well.